Hi ladies, my name is Jessica Childress and I am an elite presenter with Unique and I am the leader of the Mighty Lash Warriors. I have learned some simple tricks that have made it so much easier for me. So I'm going to show you how I edit videos using the iMovie app on my iPhone. So here's my home screen and I'm going to open the iMovie app and hit the plus sign to create a new movie and then hit the create button. Then click the button on the top left to add media and you can pick from movies or videos or music and I usually start with the video. That's going to bring up all the video clips on your phone and you can choose which ones you would like to add. You also have the option to play different clips and see if it's the one you want to use. If not, then pick a different clip. Hi ladies, my name is Jessica Childress. Once you decide on a clip, you just click the arrow button and add it to your project. I know that editing videos can seem really intimidating. My personal preference is to go through and find all the clips that I want to add to the project and then go through and edit them after everything's been added. Once you get everything added, you can start to have a little fun with it. I like to start with kind of the simple things first and then work up to the more complicated aspects. The easiest thing is to play with the transitions and there are several different transitions that you can use in iMovie depending on what effect you're looking for. I am sort of partial to the dissolve transition and the slide transition. With transitions like slide and wipe, you have the option to change the direction of how it transitions to the next clip, whether you want it right to left, left to right, up or down. It's just kind of fun to play with. I know that edit As you adjust your clips and your transitions, you may find there are parts of clips that you want to trim down. I personally don't like when I see my eyes shift to the camera when I go to turn the camera off for each clip. So I like to shave off maybe the last half second of each clip to kind of disguise that. I edit videos using the iMovie app on my iPhone. The iMovie app on my iPhone. edit videos using the iMovie app on my iPhone. I really hope there may be times that you want to add a beginning title to your movie and have it be maybe a blank screen behind. I just keep a black screenshot saved to my favorites in my photos and then I just add that black screen to the beginning of the project and then you can go in and add titles to that. There are several different title options and it really just depends on your project which one you want to use. Once you find a text that you want to try, you just click on the text box and type in your birding. If you don't like it, you have the option at any time to switch which theme you're using. You can also adjust the length of how long the titles appear my general guideline is that I read the title out loud and however long it takes me to read it out loud, that is how long I keep the clip. You can also add titles directly over the image that is playing. To do that, you would let the clip play and wherever you want the titles to start, you tap the clip and then split the clip. From there, you can just add the titles just like you did before. To make the titles stop playing over the image, you split the clip again and wherever you split it, the titles will stop playing. If you would like your video to fade in or out from black, then you can click the cogwheel at the bottom right and just click that option.
You also have the option to add a filter either to your entire project or just to individual clips. If you would like to do just an individual clip, then you tap the clip and click the little color button down at the bottom right and you can adjust the filter. You also have the option to copy different clips and to do that you would just tap the clip and hit duplicate. I love that trick for when I have uh, several title screens in a row, then I can skip the step of having to go in and add the picture each time. I can just duplicate the clip and then tap on the text box and delete and change the text as needed. If at any point you're not happy with how a clip has turned out, you always have the option to tap it and delete it. You also have the option to move clips around within the project, and to do that you just hold your finger over it and then scoot it left or right wherever you want to put it. If you want to delete the text from an individual clip, then you just click the X button on the text box and it will delete the entire text. At any point, if you would like to add a voiceover, you just click the microphone button at the bottom right and it will prompt you to start your recording and it will give you a countdown. As soon as the countdown is over, that is when it starts recording your voice. Once you click stop recording, it will give you the option to review your recording if and you accept it or you can retake it. Just like with any other clip, with a voiceover clip, you do have the option to move it around as you see fit or even delete it. Once I have all the other editing done in the project, sometimes I like to add music. You can add preloaded iMovie theme music that is royalty free or you can use music from your iPhone. By default, the music clip will be added as background music, but you do have the option to change it to the foreground. If it's playing in the background, it's usually a little less loud. If it's playing in the foreground, it is a little more in the forefront and sounds a little louder. If you click on the speaker button at the bottom middle of the screen, it gives you the option to fade in or fade out the sound clip, or you can trim it, or you can adjust the actual volume of the individual clip. If the sound clip is shorter than your project and you wanted to run the entire length of your project, then you can drag the end out to lengthen it. Have a great day. For you. Once you're finished editing, just click the Done button and it will save it as a project in your iMovie app. At this point, it is not yet saved to your camera roll, so you would want to click the Share button at the bottom center and then click Save Video. And then it will give you the option of what size video you want to save it as, and then it will export the movie to your camera roll. Once everything has been exported, I like to go back to my camera roll and make sure that the video has saved correctly. Once in a great while, there will be a glitch and I'll have to re-export it, but most of the time it transitions flawlessly. Once I've checked that it has saved correctly, then I will go ahead and delete the clips if I'm not going to need them again. Keep in mind that once you delete the clips from your camera roll, you will no longer be able to edit the project back in iMovie because iMovie will not have those clips anymore. Once I am done with the project completely in iMovie, then I delete it from the iMovie app and that will free up storage on my phone. I really hope this has helped take some of the intimidation factor out of editing videos for you. Have a great day.